Now, obviously, solar has been a growth category for S5, but it's not the only market that has been contributing to your growth. It seems other companies have attempted to emulate your existing product line. You are always one step ahead with new innovative product offerings. How do you always stay one step ahead in the marketplace? Well, we always stay a step ahead, John, because we're always innovators. We have a culture of innovation here. I've been an innovator since I first got into the construction business way back in the 70s. I innovated the way, the way metal buildings were erected. I mean, within my own small realm, I did things differently. I always thought out of the box. I always set back and take a fresh look at this is how we do things, but how can we do them better? You know, well, if we did it like this, maybe it would. Sometimes you, you try something new and it doesn't work, but sometimes you try something new and it does work and it saves a lot of time and a lot of money. I've always been the kind of guy that just is always trying to figure out a better way to do something. Well, that's what an innovator is. And I believe that, that I've nurtured a culture of innovation here at S5. So, you know, all these other guys, can replicate, but we innovate. And some of the stuff that they're copying now are things that I innovated 10 and even 20 years ago. We'll always be a step ahead because we're always innovating. And the type of innovations, you know, it's one thing, that's an interesting word, innovation. What, what does it really mean and, and, and what is it exactly? Because it's not just something new. A, a real innovation is, is disruptive. It disrupts the culture of the way things have always been done. And this is, this is why it was such uh, an obstacle. We were talking earlier about the roof manufacturers pushing back on, no, we don't want anything on our roof, because their culture was putting things on our roof causes problems. Well, we innovated something that caused a, disruptin, a disruption to that mentality. It caused a culture change that, hey, here is a new thing that changes that whole landscape. That's what they mean when, and disruptive, disruptive innovation is not something I thought of, somebody else coined that term, but that's what a real innovation is. It disrupts the way people think because it's so new and so revolutionary. We've done that with the basic S5 technology. We've done that with Color Guard. You know, at the time that I introduced S5 Color Guard, the traditional way of preventing rooftop avalanches was to use unitized parts and pepper them all over your roof with these smaller unitized parts. Um, with Color Guard, I introduced a continuous rail system. Not that I'm the first one in the whole world to do that, but I introduced a continuous rail system that, that is mechanically attached with non-penetrating fast, et cetera, et cetera, the whole ball of wax. And that has actually changed the culture of snow retention in this country. And now you see many other competitive parts that have emerged in the marketplace. Some of them emulate us, some of them flat copy us, some of them just borrow that concept and come up with some new attachment method. But, but the point is that we introduced that way back in like 1995 or six or something like that. And over time, it has changed the way people think about snow retention in the same way that our utility clamps have changed the way people think about just attaching other ancillary uh, things to metal roofs. We also then were the first to introduce the whole concept of engineering a snow retention system to the specifics of a project because every roof is different, different slope, different roof length, different snow loads that accumulate on that roof. Um, and so our approach was, hey, rather than stick so many parts up there and just hope and pray they stay there, let's engineer those forces that are trying to tear those devices off the roof. 
then we'll test our products, make sure that they exceed those forces, populate the roof with them in such a way that we know they're not going to fail. And so we innovated that, and now we have a lot of competitors copying that aspect that, oh yeah, we can actually calculate and we can actually engineer. Well, great, by the time they copied that, we're, we've moved on to, to something else, you know? And then we introduced the, the very first lifetime warranty. If we know our systems aren't gonna fail, and in, and in the 19-year in the history of S5 Color Guard, we've never had a single documented failure, well, why not put our money where our mouth is? So we put a warranty out there a conditional warranty out there that says our system is guaranteed to perform for the life of your roof. It won't break, it won't fail, it won't damage your roof, it won't cause premature corrosion. We were the first to introduce a lifetime, and in fact, we're the only company in the world, as far as I know, that has a lifetime performance warranty. Now understand, John, I'm not talking about a material warranty, okay? Everybody has a material warranty that guarantees against defects in material and workmanship. And, and we've had a 25-year material and, 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 and workmanship defect warranty for, for a long, long time. This is a performance warranty that says that the system will not fail and it will not hurt your roof. We're the only company in the world that I know that does that. We're the first and only company that I'm aware of that will actually provide an engineer's stamp because if the system is engineered, why not provide an engineer's stamp that says so? So this is another S5 first, is that we can provide an engineer's seal on a set of calculations that say this system will work on this job. So that's another S5 first. We created, um, we created wind uplift enhancements clear back in 1994, where we take our clamp on the outside of a seam and we tighten that clamp onto the seam and it prevents the seam from unwinding under, under wind uplift pressures. If you use that clamp at a clip location, it also prevents male and female seam portions, a bit of a tongue twister, pulling off the clip. So we prevent two different modes of failure. Um, and we pioneered that back in 1994. And in some cases, that increases the wind uplift performance uh, of standing seam roofing by as much as double. Uh, we created a PV kit. We created the whole the whole innovation of mounting solar to a metal roof by what we call and have trademarked direct attach. Because the solar industry uses rails to it. They use extruded aluminum rails and they always build this framework of rails onto a roof and then install the solar modules onto the rails. Well, that has some inherent expense to it. I looked at a metal roof and said, why do you want to put these rails on this roof? A, a standing seam roof already has rails, lots of them. All you need is a way to mount that solar module direct to that roof without using another structure, saving enormous amounts of money in solar installations. Well, we pioneered that. We innovated the whole concept of direct attach to standing seam metal roofing. Um, and we, we even went to UL and helped them to create a new standard for that, to analyze and assess the grounding and the bonding and the mounting all together in one package. Uh, so these are some of the S5 firsts. Of course, being first is something that everybody tends to throw out there and brag about. But to tell the truth, being first is meaningless unless you're also a cost-effective solution, unless you're the best. So being first 
really means nothing. And there are a lot of people who came up with something first who wound up dying paupers, you know. <laughs> you've got to put it into action. You've got to do something with it. And so to me, being first is kind of secondary. It is what keeps us out there on the leading edge. But it's also important to be the best. And coming back to my other point, always the lowest cost. So although we have all these guys who, who copy and emulate and, and, and replicate certain things that we do, they'll never compete with us just dollar for dollar because we've been doing it for so long and we do it so well. And because of our lean business model, we're always selling the best for less. 